Hey there folks, Geology Professor Sean Wilsey here. Just a quick little video to explain and show you this really fascinating phenomena, sometimes associated with active lava lakes or lava channels in volcanic regions, but it's really familiar um, and similar process to what we see in desert regions. They happen in several places. And this is what's known as a lava nado, which was a, a new term that I wasn't even aware of up until quite recently. But it's quite similar to a dust devil, or you might have a different name for it depending on what part of the world you live in. But essentially, it's a, a, a feature that forms a rotating column of air, like a vortex or a whirlwind of air that forms when hot air rises. And if there's a little bit of shear or directional motion to that, rising column of air that'll give it some spin um, as it moves up that updraft creates lower pressure at the surface which causes more air to move towards it so it creates a bit of a vacuum cleaner effect if you want to and so you get these rising columns of air that can be quite strong they can be up to uh, about 50 miles an hour 75 kilometers an hour they're usually pretty narrow maybe half a meter to 10 meters in diameter they're not the same as a, a true tornado and they're much less intense than a tornado but similar dynamics just in the broad sense. And so let me show you one of these here from Kilauea in Hawaii. I have two little video clips to share with you here. Um, and so what you're going to see here is this this cooling lava lake has developed a, a crust on it uh, because that top portion of the lava lake is in contact with the air and is cooled. The molten lava is just below it because it's still insulated and quite hot. And as this little vortex of hot circulating air rips around the lava lake, it actually lifts pieces of the crust up off the lava lake and flings them through the air. Remember that the top portion of a lava lake will tend to have a lot of gas bubbles in it, what we call vesicles uh, and so it's already kind of light anyway and if the air can get in there and has enough force and leverage to just rip up a slab and fling it you can get this sort of effect so let's kind of watch this here you can just see this rotating column of air just ripping through uh, this lava lake uh, flinging these big particles out and as you watch some of these big pieces land you can actually see some of them and like this one here boom penetrates actually breaks through the crust and exposes some of the there's another one right there exposing that red lava beneath so this thing's just kind of ripping through the vents back over here on the right but this vortex or lava nado lava tornado if you will is just ripping around just throwing out these big blocks of crust it's just so impressive just was a feature i was unfamiliar with with um, until quite recently. So I wanted to share this with the video. Now here is actually going to leave the lava lake and I start racing up the slope. And now it's in training uh, the dust and the, the fine particles of ash found over here. So it's it's able to be visible as long as it can pick up particles and make, that, that will make it visible. If this is all just air without any particles, uh, it's going to be harder to see. So you can see that big uh, sort of funnel cloud rotating up and then it starts to just dissipate and die out pretty incredible I'll put links to these in the video description if you want to watch and here's the one that kind of caught my eye and kind of turned me on to this whole process uh, most recently so here's another one here on the floor of Kilauea in Hawaii and you can see again just little pieces of the crust just start get flung flung around here and thrown you know several you know tens of meters maybe more uh, I'm not sure what the scale is here, but throwing these big slabs of solidified lava crust out across. There's a big one there. Boom. Just like across the crater floor. Really cool phenomena. Um, kind of otherworldly if you think about it. Um, combining the effects of, you know, volcanoes and what we think of, you know, as weather phenomena or tornadoes, rotating air. Very cool. So I just wanted to share this quick little video with you, uh, give you a little bit of an explanation of, of how these form. So I hope you enjoyed that. And I'll put links to these under the video description. Thanks so much and have a good one.